Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Build for Life series. And as you guys can see, man, we got your boy Franklin here in the Vespucci Canals apartment. Yeah, I know, man. The crib that we just got in the last episode. If you guys missed that, you might want to go ahead and check that out, man. You missed something good, man. You missed something good. But today, today's episode, man, we're actually going to go ahead and pick up a new truck. You know, your boy Franklin's gonna get ready for this um, this car company, man. Well, not this car company. I'm trying to ripping. He's gonna get ready for this shop that we about to go ahead and buy. Y'all already know, man. We're gonna go ahead and get this rim shop. Well, really, it's like a rim and body shop because we're gonna be doing like grills and all that good stuff, man. You know, it's gonna be how how it was before with your boy Franklin doing all the good stuff, making all the money. So we're gonna go ahead and do that in today's episode. And I wanted to do a little meth trap. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and whip that out. We're gonna look. Let me check and see what all we got. All right, we still got uh, what? Seven? We got seven thousand grams in the supply. I mean, not in the supply, but in the stock. We got nine seventy-five for supplies, and we still got five more upgrade missions to do. And I wanted to go ahead and do some of those. Uh, and let me see, man. Now the security thing. We may go ahead and do the security thing, so I ain't gonna worry about nobody trying to ride me no more. You know what I'm saying? But they, they definitely be doing that. It's gonna call about 20 bands. Let's go ahead and do that. Get us some security over there. All right, now let me go ahead. Let's make us a very large batch, man. We're gonna do a bulk sell in this episode, so we're gonna make a lot of money. We're gonna make a lot of money. We got the money color up front. Both boxes, man. Now, what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna get this truck so that I can start hauling and, and you know what I'm saying, get us a trailer and all that good stuff, and we'll be able to pick up customer cars as well as our own cars. So uh, we probably should call Z up so we can get us a lift to the shop and pick up uh, pick up this truck because uh, we, we're really gonna be driving this truck in this episode. We ain't even gonna be driving at these guys. So you know, let's, let's do that. Let's go into the main street. Isn't there another one right here? I was about to say. I know there's another step in stolen. It's in the step in stolen. There's some stairs, but I knew there was some more stairs up here. Let's go to the main street. I'm gonna call the lift from the main street. Go ahead, call up Z. See if he can go ahead and call us a lift. Right, he's supposed to be coming down the street right here. But yeah, man, I kind of did want to actually, you know, we're going to cancel this lift. Hold up. I'm going to go get something to eat real quick, bro. I just realized I want to try my McDonald's mod again. See if that worked out. Let's see if that still works. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this lift real quick. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's going to keep riding to the spot where I called him at. So let me go ahead and we cancel this lift real quick. Cause I smooth forgot. I did want to go and give me something to eat real quick, man. Bruh, bruh, come on, bruh. You see, I swear he do that on purpose. He does that on purpose, bruh, every time. All right, let's go ahead and go back down the steps. I don't know how I smooth forgot your boy was hungry, man. Okay, all right, we just gonna jump this cause uh, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead. We'll take the orange box, man. Gonna take that guy out for a little spin. No, wrong car. There we go. Take the orange box out for a little spin. Him. When we ain't doing them, we're going right around the corner. I want to see if my McDonald's mod still works. Because I believe I didn't take it out of my game, so it should still work. My scripts and everything, everything should still work for this mod. So let's go to make this happen, man. So hopefully, you guys do enjoy the episode nonetheless. Go ahead and go pick up this new truck. Oh, I'm starting to get frame rate and lags, man. I do not know why and where this is coming from, but I ain't fucking with it. Sim. All right, man. Let me go ahead. Let's keep on going. So I actually, all right, yeah, yeah. These these frames, I'm not doing it, man. Hold on. <laughs> Jesus. Where this stupid shit be coming from, bro? The fuck. Alrighty. Alrighty, we're gonna see if everything going good. Man, I just went to the parking lot on the air with that one. <laughs> but alright, let's go to make our way. We're half a mile remaining until we get to uh, McDonald's down here. 
go ahead and see if I can give me a nice little double cheese. I'm still getting these frame lags, bro. I'm not fucking with this at all. I'm really gonna have to fix this. Cause I don't even know what's causing them. That's that's the see that's that's the most annoying part about it. I don't even know what's causing it. Alright, let's keep on going. I'm just keep an eye on my uh my OBS and everything, make sure everything's still going good. Alright man. But yeah, most of you guys are actually telling me to change these rims too, Brad. I I don't. I ain't even gonna lie, I don't wanna change them. <laughs> These rims are nice, bro. Y'all trigger. I ain't never had, we ain't never had no car with no rims like these. And these are definitely like some, some some new, unique, different rims. I don't think we had any rims like this in GTA at all, so, you know what I'm saying? This is definitely something, something fire. Something different and new. All right, we done made it over here to McDonald's. Let me go ahead and make sure to see if everything does work. I think everything should work out. We should be able to get us a nice little double cheeseburger and stuff real quick. Oh, my large batch just got done getting cooked. All right. So we get yeah, double cheeseburger. Let me get that. Yeah, let me get that. Soon your lunch will be ready. Okay, I'm about to say, but it actually take a little second to cook your food now, bro. Gonna get that Sprite. Go ahead and take that Sprite, man. You pay $100 for your meal, bro. Since when is a Sprite $100, bro? That's crazy. Hey, sweetie. That's crazy. Right, yeah, you're going too slow. All right, so let's make our way back to the house. We're going to drop the box back off. I just wanted to pull off and give me something to eat real quick. You know what I'm saying? Fill my boy's stomach up real quick. I'm going to need to get some gas in the box, too. So I mean, that's another reason why I'm definitely going to park this guy. And then, I don't know, we may or may not do a mission. I don't know, why, why did my game volume turn down? <laughs> I just realized my game volume turned down a lot. I don't know where that came from. But, uh, yeah, we're going to drop this out. I kind of want to do a, a, a meth lab mission. So, I may try and do, we may try one out. You know what I'm saying? Try and make a little more money. Oh, we're really not really making uh, more money. We're going to progress the uh, meth lab a little more. And uh, I actually need to go ahead. We need to set up another large batch, another very large batch to get made. Yeah, see, we need some gas in this joint. And I ain't filling it up. At least not right now. We're going to get some gas another day. There we go. Let's go and back it on there. I think I may have too many, um, I may have too many uh, mods running right now because that's kind of what the last little, I just had like a little bit of uh, audio lag just come in and that's usually what that means. <laughs> that means it's too much stuff being loaded up or trying to load up at once. Right, let's go ahead and make our way up these steps. Gotta call this lift again. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the truck. We don't want the McDonald's man. Do we have to do it to make you D's? Do we have to do it to make you D's? All right, let's go ahead. Let's wait on my boy Z to come pick us up. I ain't gonna let you guys too. I also wanted to do a Trevor episode. I wanted to bring back the real life street racing mod, but for some reason the street racing mod has been giving me some issues. Like I don't wanna, it, it don't wanna load properly now. Out of all of a sudden, all of a sudden, literally all of a sudden, they, they, that mod just crashes now. So. I gotta figure out what's up with that. Probably just gotta reinstall it. See, that's how you hit me the first time. And the last was, oh, ooh, no, let me stay over here. You, you done? No, I need you to move as soon as I walk in front of your joint, bro. My man, is he good for it. I'm actually replaced. I need to replace this, uh, I need to replace this car, because I don't really, really like him riding in that ingot. I think that's what this is, an ingot. I'm not sure if this is the ingot or not, but I think that's what this is. Yeah, it is. I knew it. Hey! <laughs> One of the GTA vehicles that I actually knew. Because I barely know any of these GTA cars. Alrighty, guys. We are back. And uh, we're walking into the shop. I'm going to show you guys this 2018 Ford F350. This is our new uh, our new truck, man. I'm actually going to be using this guy. We're going to be using it for hauling all that good stuff. Because we're going to be getting a bunch of project cars. As well as the uh, project cars, well, I was going to be, uh, you know what I'm saying, putting rims on customer cars and stuff too. So we're going to need a truck to haul all these vehicles, man. 
And I gotta find us a couple of trailers. Cause I definitely want us more than one trailer. I ain't gonna lie, man. We finna man, we finna set up a whole a whole business, man. A whole business aside from trapping and all that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh what the hell? There's a barrier right here? You gotta be kidding me. Oh or not. What the hell was that? <laughs> I don't even know, man. Back, hold up, back it up. I'm gonna go to pop a save real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and make our way out to the country. Let me go ahead and, uh, hold up. Let's uh, set up another very large batch to get cooked up. Check the stock. We got 11,000 grams, but I know we're gonna make a fat little sale with that. Oh, and also, there's a, a weed spot, a weed stash spot that I want to go ahead and pull up on too. So we will be going there as a whale. So you know what, instead of going straight there, yeah, instead of going straight there, let's call in, let's call in the sale. Let's call in, man, let's arrange a deal. Cause the deal's gonna take us out there anyway. 60,000 for 760 grams, all right. I don't know where exactly is they are. I said it's they are, oh my Jesus. That, that, that English was horrible. All right, let's go ahead, let's make our way. Okay, all right. I should have. I should have just made the left. I don't know why. I just made it all complicated trying to follow GPS, and now we're getting pulled over. I'm gonna get my first ticket in my new truck already. Are you looking back, trying to cut me off. Stupid bus. Now right, we're gonna keep on going, man. I actually gotta get it. We gotta get some performance parts put on this guy. To make it a little faster. Add a little more torque to it. You know, I like this stuff, man. I don't like this stuff because right now it, it's it's a pretty fast truck. Pretty stock, pretty quick. It could be quicker, it could be faster, it could be stronger. You know what I'm saying? Right, so we got three miles until we get uh, out there to the country so that we can actually go ahead and make this happen. Now, this is actually going to be a nice little sale of $60,000. You guys can actually leave in the comment section down below how much should we pay for this truck. Now, you guys got to keep in mind, these trucks are not cheap in real life, but like a 2018 F350 dually in real life will probably cost you like seventy, eighty thousand dollars, maybe even ninety. So they, they, they're up there, man. They're up there. These aren't cheap. You know, as a matter of fact, since I know the price already, I'll just go ahead and pay that, man. So we're gonna pay. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, shit. Be? oh damn, we're gonna pull it over. That officer really chased me down. I'm sleep. But we'll go ahead and uh, I'll subtract. Uh, you know, we'll do a random number. We'll do seventy-eight thousand for this truck. All right, let me just pull over because it sounds like he's back there smacking everybody. Yeah, he definitely smacked uh, a few people. All right, that damage on his damn truck. Yeah, I got some hood damage. What the hell? What did I hit? But I don't even know where my hood damage came from, so I'm gonna fix that. I have windshield damage and front end damage too. How? Hello. What did I hit? <laughs> I don't even know what I hit, man. What did he get me for? Running the light. I knew it. All right, let's go ahead and subtract the seventy-eight thousand for this truck. Z has ordered the reload. Okay, so someone left a comment or a few comments. They were saying that I probably have to wait until Z gets his reload before I can actually get some drugs and stuff again. So we'll see. All right, they got seventy-eight thousand for the truck. I forgot, man. Most of our money is in the damn, is in the stash house. Got most of our money put up right now. So yeah, man, this truck is definitely gonna be making us a lot more money uh, back. You best believe that, man. That's seventy. Oh, come on! Oh my God, bro! Everybody just completely like just jumps out the way like that when they hear a little siren. Now I gotta fix my truck, man. That's a free fix. I ain't even gonna cap, man. That's a free fix. All right, we still one, uh, one point, almost one and a half miles remaining. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the episode. You know what I'm saying? Nothing less. Just look at some interior view on this truck. That's pretty nice ass truck, man. I ain't gonna lie. I really like these new, the new Fords, the new, the new Ford trucks, bro. Clean as hell. Clean as. Man, you literally can't go wrong with none of these newer. Yeah, I feel like none of the newer vehicles you really can't go wrong. They all fine. They all good. Especially since I was just riding in the 2018 Kia Opera, man. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even really like Kia like that until 
Till I had that little Optima, bro. It ain't even like key like that. Yes, you, man. I'm finna have to change my weather because it's fogging up on me. And y'all know I don't like that foggy weather. So let's go ahead and let's fix that up. Clear that out. We finna have to do another very large batch because uh, the last one just finished. Let's have you make a U-turn right here. Alright man, definitely had to go ahead and scoop us up a little truck or something though. You know what I'm saying? Being all the way out here in the country, we be on them dirt roads and stuff and we be riding in the car, bruh, so definitely had to go ahead and get us a little truck or something. Gotta get a Tahoe back here. My bad, I wasn't finna hit y'all, bruh. Y'all straight. Y'all straight, but I wasn't finna hit y'all. Alright. And another thing, I don't know if you guys really kind of caught the gist of uh, how I was going to be doing this series, but we won't be having like a hundred cards for you. Whoa, hold up. He want a hook? Oh, I wouldn't even own him, bruh. Because, oh, whoa, why does it want to attack her, bruh? Like, that doesn't make no sense, bruh. Oh, and she done whipped out a strap? Oh, okay. All right, the buyer was spooked. I'm gone. I just missed out on 60 bands, bruh, because this dude wanted the hook. Now I gotta go 12 right there. Damn, man. I spooked the buyer. I need some gas now. I bet you I got some bullet holes in my truck. No? No bullet holes? What? I ain't get no bullet holes in my truck, bro. Are you serious? Alright, man. We're about to get some gas real quick. And then we're gonna head to this weed uh, stash, this stash spot for some weed. Uh, check this out. It's way in the Polito area. We gotta make that make that long little trip out there. I know y'all gonna mess with it though. I'm gonna go ahead and pull over right here, get some gas. The officer right there. I think I was speeding. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I was speeding. All right, gas tank should be on this side too. Actually, I don't even see it. Alrighty, alrighty. Don't even see it. All right, so the weed stash spot is actually way up here. That's a good little trip. So we'll probably save the we'll see, yeah we'll save the um, the meth missions for another episode. Man, I ain't even worried about doing it this episode. I should find us another cell to do since we just messed that one up before we go to this damn. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Find me another cell real quick since that one got spooked. This one's for nine hundred and fifty-five thousand, almost a milli. And it's taking me back into the city. Okay, yeah, we can't do that one. <laughs> it's taking me way too far away from where we need to be. All right, so let's cancel. Let's find someone else. I'll make another deal. This one's for 733, and it's going in the direction that I need to go. So let's do that. 733,000 dollars. So, hey man, fat little profit, fat little profit. Let's go ahead and start up another large batch. This is your own. Damn, I should have started the best before I started the deal. Alright, man. Devil, let me know what you guys think about the truck. Should we leave it black? Uh, shoot, I, I want to find, like, some... I don't know if, if any of you guys out there know how to do, uh, like, any custom custom paint jobs and stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? We need something for Franklin to start his own company. You know what I'm saying? Get his own little custom decals for his trucks. If any of y'all know how to do that, man, go ahead and do something for your boy. Your boy need a little company thing. Actually, I think someone, my boy Pro, uh, Pro Motivated, if I'm not mistaken, he did something for my flatbed trucks a while back, and I never got around to using it. Really? And then he gonna, he gonna really try and squeeze his way through, bruh. I should have smacked him, bruh. Should have just straight smacked that damn officer, bruh. Exactly. Alrighty, guys, we done made it down here to our cell. And it looks like they're up there, I think. We gotta go ahead and make our way on up this nice little trail. Here. Yeah, they're right there. All right. Now, hopefully we don't spook them. God, damn, damn, dude. Somebody tried to fight us at the last one, man. That's all the reason why they... Let me put that up. That's all the reason why they got spooked, bro. It's because, god damn... Somebody tried to fight us at the last damn spot, bro. All right, 733,000. Yeah. Good little profit right there, man. Good little profit. I almost made three quarters of a damn, three quarters of a million. That's what I'm talking about. 
All right, man, 2.3 miles remaining until we get to this weed, to the stash weed spot. The weed stash. I'm going to show y'all what we're working with, man. This is what we be, uh, well, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, this is where Z be picking up all his weed from. He be having it, you know what I'm saying, having the dude bring it to us. One of Z's little weed farms, weed stashes. I'm going to check this out real quick, man. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this joint. I'm just loving driving this truck, bro. I really want to take it off roading and stuff, man. I really, what I really, really want to do with this truck is I want to go ahead and lift it up and put it on some forges. But we might not do that, man. We might not do that. I might leave this guy stock. And, you know what I'm saying? Or we might get us another stock truck, another stock dually. And I might just go ahead and lift this one up on some forges. You never know, man. You never know what might come up, bro. But, yeah, we got a mile and a half. To get on down there. I was thinking about getting the gooseneck version too, but then I thought, man, I don't even think we have that many gooseneck trailers. I think we only got like two. And they kind of wouldn't really work too well for what we were doing. Because uh, I'd have to attach them every time, and I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't really trying to attach and detach cars every single time. When there's a trailer mod that allows you to just, you know, ride the trailer up on the ramp. And there you go. All right, we got three quarters of a mile remaining. You guys can definitely let me know what you guys think about this, uh, this stash spot. Alrighty, guys, we done made it over here. Let's go ahead, Zancudo Grain Growers. I'm guessing that's the cover up right there. So this is basically where it's at. They ain't got number weed in here, man. They ain't growing nothing but weed. They ain't growing nothing else. All right, let's go ahead and pull on in. Matter of fact, let me back in, man. I mean, you might be trying to load us up with some, you know what I'm saying, a little weed shit and to take back. They got a whole cow just roaming around in here, bro. They got two cows just roaming around in here. Three cows. All right, they got cows everywhere. So let's see what's going on, man. I know we gotta somehow get up there. I think that's where a lot of the stuff is at, too. You see, they got the vans right here. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell? Oh, crap, that hurt. Damn, the vans just glitched and crushed me. Oh, that's because of... Where did this come from? Bruh, I swear that was not just right there, bruh. Or was it? I don't know, that could be why them vans just glitched up. But you see, man, they got weed. They got the brakes already in the back. So we might have to transport these brakes for them. Probably why he got him sitting like this. Yeah, they done killed the cow. They done killed the cow. All right, where that, where that ladder at, man? Let's go ahead. Let's go with the ladder. Let's see what they got the rest up here. Oh, shit. This is where they got it all at. Look at it. Hanging up, drying. Drying the weed, man. They drying the weed. They got some more bricks ready to go. How the hell even get this down there if they use the damn ladder to get up here? How is this even being held up up here? You see this weak ass wood? I don't know what the hell these fuckers. I don't know how they doing it, but they doing it. Let me get down before this shit collapse. Alright, here we go. Yeah, you guys can definitely let me know what this. Let me know if y'all think we should go ahead and do the uh the, the delivery job to that we'll go ahead and deliver that weed for them. Get a little weed delivery job for us to do but yeah with that being said man hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of the real headlight series if you guys did make sure to drop a like down below hit the subscribe button if you haven't already make sure you guys follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter links in the description down below and i will catch you guys in the next episode or live stream man peace on out